Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 7 of this year's Champions League jersey review. I just realized that holding up the fingers with the number might work for the Champions League but for the Europa League if I wanna get to it, if I ever get to it, I should not do that because how do you do 11 and 12? Hmm, unless you go the Cristiano route. Hmm? Something like that. Anyway, speaking of Cristiano, he was one of the two stars in this group, the other one of course being Messi. With this group, although not as exciting from the get-go because it was, it was pretty clear with two of the biggest teams in here who is going to get through held all the attention because it potentially had the last meeting between the two superstars and um, that that one meeting actually went f squarely Cristiano's way but yeah um, I think there are nice jerseys in there so I would say let's jump right to it and we'll start with the bottom uh, team, the team that finished on, on the bottom, which, which uh, I will do, have been doing all there. We start from the last to the first place team. And we'll start in Hungary with uh, surprise qualifiers, Ferenc Varos. Uh, uh -huh. And I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like they have just recycled last year's jersey that I already um, covered in last year's Europa League jersey review. And yeah. I gave it back then four stars and I have to say I don't see a reason to really change that. I think it's a really, really weird looking shirt. First of all, for me, Ferenc Varos, whenever you ask me, I would expect um, stripes, not hoops. I'm okay with the hoops, but all these differing widths, I mean, on the top you have it very bold, very green, then white to house nicely the crest, then a very big green one uh, with the sponsor. And if they would keep with that pattern, I think it could be a really nice jersey. But then with all the thin hoops, this side of one design don't mix it up so much. So as I said, four stars and I'll stick with that. The only new jersey that they released is the away jersey, which they wore, uh, funnily enough, at home a lot. And you know, it, didn't really make too much sense to me because, as I said, uh, for me, Ferenc Varos is white and green uh, with stripes. This one here harkens back to me. There was, I think, a Juventus jersey with a similar design. There was, was there a Bayern jersey? Similar? There was definitely a Milan jersey, kind of, you know. You take green, then there's a little bit white in there, this pinstriping, but you know, it's, it's basically a green and a black jersey where the big stripes. Um, kind of split by a thin pinstripe. It was a weird look, especially for a home game. I am still not uh, so sold on uh, that entire look here, but it is a much better jersey than the home jersey, I have to also say. And, you know, being being sold this as an away jersey, I think I'm much more willing to look past the black. If this was a Champions League home jersey, I think I would say, get out of here and... Uh, don't even think about it. But as, as an away jersey, I do doubt that it provides enough contrast to the home jersey uh, because there's so much green on there. And this is a rather dark jersey as well. But it's at least an interesting looking jersey overall. I really like the kind of big crest there. I mean, uh, with the thick straps, you actually see how big the crest is on this one. I think it's a decent enough jersey. Uh, I think I want to give this seven stars. Uh, as a home jersey, I would not go above five. I can tell you that as well. And then seemingly they recycle also the away jersey from last season, the third jersey, which was kind of the, um, it wasn't even a centenary look. It was probably released for 120 years, given that they were found in 1899, as the crest so nicely tells us. And I have to say, yeah, as a celebration jersey, it's nice that you put some gold in there and also see how the three stars are aligned here seemingly. Uh, meanwhile, they got a little bit uh, some flattened out and I think this is what happened here too. But, um, you know, use it once, don't use it over and over and over again. Use it for that one season where you're celebrating and then uh, go back to green. And I think this jersey in green would work much better. Um, I think as a jersey itself, it goes uh, like, like a PSG had a similar jersey. It, uh, it goes down a good route and I think I gave it six stars back then, um, which I'm willing to keep. I would go higher if there was a little bit more of the club's colors of green in there. Next up is Dynamo Kiev, uh, who again, we have to get used that they are being now with New Balance. And I have to say, 
this might well be the best looking New Balance jersey this season. At me for that one. I really, really enjoy this jersey. Uh, it is not a classic Dynamo Kiev look, uh, to be honest, because I would expect just a more plain white with just a little bit hint of blue there. But I have to say, these um, vertical lines break up the jersey really nicely, uh, but don't destroy the identity of the club. And in, in, in addition, there's a slight gradient in there and they get even a little bit thicker to the outside, which actually adds uh, a dynamic feel, Dynamo, dynamic to it. I really, really, really like this one. Dynamo Kiev jerseys are always among the nicer ones out I, There is something about Din Din, Dynamo Kiev that I uh, thoroughly enjoy and this one is no exception to that. I'm gonna give this a straight nine stars. The away jersey though is a little bit, we can discuss a little bit more. I mean, yes, it is blue, which I like, but what do those uh, arrows pointed thing is too in there it's a little bit too random for my taste and while the blue matches up nicely with the blue of the ukrainian flag on there um i have to say it looks a little bit lost i think this jersey would look better if just left plain honestly and then especially since the other accent color is white i mean if i understand for the new balance logo but here on the color maybe you could also have gone for the light the blue and for the taping on the side um it's interesting, but I think it tries a little bit too much. I always like this kind of serene look of Dynamo jer jer jerseys. There's, it's, it's never flashy, but there's a certain class to it that I'm missing honestly here. And for that reason, I, I, yeah, six stars. I, I don't think I can go much higher here. And then we are already at Barcelona and I think I already said a lot about the current home jersey in my La Liga jersey review. It's over designed. It is based on this famous jersey, but I think Again, I think it's over over designed. You have to decide. You should decide to go on one thing. I mean, I'm glad that the thicker Barcel Barcelona stripes. I call this Barcelona striping, is back. But either go for the pinstripes in there or go for the for the gradient within the stripe. It's just too much in many ways. It's not a great Barcelona jersey. It's even not a great tribute. But it fits. Uh, this was probably the best Barcelona team uh, team potentially of all time. This and has a great jersey. This is a knockoff in many ways, and for that I think I'll stick with the seven stars. I'll give it. Uh, the um, away jersey is this beautiful black with gold jersey, and I totally get that. Many people say this is one of the nicest jerseys released by Nike this season. I totally get that. It looks beautiful. My big gripe with that is it's not a proper away jersey. It is, the home jersey is dark, the away jersey should be light. And this doesn't provide that at all. Uh, then also, I mean, I think the gold on the gold and the black, it's a really nice combination. But, and uh, I even understand why you do monochromatic crest here, but still it does not feel Barca. I mean, it is probably the best black jersey they have released. The other one was, I think in 11, 12. Um, which had yellow and then, you know, full color crest, which looked all right, but you know, it was the first time they had a proper sponsor. So uh, that uh, gave, gave it a downer as well. This one looks nicer. I actually do like this one, uh, but uh, it just doesn't make much sense to me either. And then also, if you would have put this out last season, when they were just come, coming off um, a championship and so on, the gold would make much more sense, but I know the design process, blah, 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 but uh, the timing of it also doesn't feel right. Barcelona at the moment is not a shining team. I gave it seven stars, let's go stick with it. And now come the uh, bad jerseys. The Miami Vice jersey, uh, what were they thinking? I mean, the third jerseys by Nike this season are really, 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 really bad. And this is no exception uh, to that. Light pink and then the turquoise Barca crest. And then when you watch it in game, uh, black shorts and uh, turquoise socks, it's just a mess, a mess, a mess, a mess. I do not, I really do not like this one. And I like the pink jersey that I had two seasons ago. But this one uh, just hits me on all the wrong spots. The color is atrocious. The, uh, 
that the, the crest needs to be in turquoise on the pink and then in a monochromatic uh, doesn't sit well with me. There's really not much going in favor of this jersey. And then the overall look is also blah. Two stars. I gave it. We'll stick with that. Um, we're not talking about the fourth jersey. I gave it in the La Liga review um, of this season. Uh, and it will only be worn in the Classico. So we'll go there. We'll go straight to Juventus. And the Juventus home jersey, my first thought is, yeah, finally we have the black and white stripes back. Finally. Brush stroke, yeah. I even also the gold. Here it fits because Juve has been winning, 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 winning. I actually really like the gold sponsor on there. I like the, the even the brush stroke effect uh, is something very unique and seemingly every jersey is unique because they uh, kind of have a big cloth with the strap and then they cut it out. Um, I think as a Juve jersey it works quite well. I even like that they got rid of the Juventus word mark and then just, you know, with the golden crest. There is There are things that sit really well with me. But I'm not very happy with the way the color looks. I'm not very happy that on the back, uh, the you know the striping becomes horizontal because they have this uh, you know like uh, Bayern and whatever this patch on the back uh, that, that extends from the sleeves. Also not my favorite. Um, and I honestly think while the gold for the logos and for the sponsor as well, I think for the side stripes, I would have probably preferred black as well. But it is a much better, much more Juve look, looking jersey than what we got the, the past two seasons. And for that reason, I'm uh, giving these seven stars. The away jersey is a beauty in many ways. However, it doesn't scream Juventus to me. A, the um, blue to me is a tad too dark to be purple. You know, when I, when I think Juventus in blue, I'm thinking... Uh, the one they were wearing in the 96 Champions League final. I'm also thinking of the one they were wearing uh, on the way to the um, 2015 Champions League final. Uh, that was a bright blue and then with some yellow on there. This is for me my favorite Juve away look. And I, I guess that's what I'm holding out, out for to uh, add to my collection. This one, I really like the color, but for me it's not a Juve jersey. I heard that it goes back to a jersey where they won, a, I think, a UEFA Cup in. But um, I think a sleeve cuff's a little bit too thick and a little bit too brushy. Um, and yeah, don't get me wrong. It's similar to the Barcelona jersey. It's a beautiful jersey, but it doesn't scream Juve to me. Uh, at least it's a proper uh, contrast to the home jersey. But uh, the dark blue and white, you might as well have gone with black. And I know that there's a reference in there. Uh, seven stars, I think, is fine for that one as well. And then the third jersey. What an abomination, especially that the back is not with the uh, pattern from the front. Honestly, what were they thinking? Really, what were, were they thinking here? This is a... I don't mind orange, but for me, maybe, uh, since the... Maybe, maybe this is the reason behind this. The uh, Juventus Ultras are called the Drugi, which comes from the Drugs from Clockwork Orange. Is this a step a few bridges too far? Maybe that's why we have orange here. And then... Someone, you know, it looked, it looks like puked on with, uh, you know, so it doesn't look good. It provides contrast, yes, it provides contrast, all right, but it doesn't look good. And especially that the back looks completely different to to the front, doesn't endear it to me. Uh, this is another two-star jersey. And yeah, those are the jerseys from Group G. Let me know what you thought about. It. Am I too harsh on some of these? Maybe I am. Um, let me know your opinion on these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.